Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Toya from All About Nursing. Today we continue our drug dosage calculation practicing. So we're going to talk about IV medication today. So we'll be talking about mills, drops, and infusion times, infusion rates, infusion time. We have five examples that we're going to do practically with you on the board so that we can be able to get a better understanding of IV drug calculation okay so let's get into it so last week we did last episode we talked about dose desired divided by dose on hand equals to the amount to give now that also applies with IV medication and it has little changes up as we go okay so we have a scenario here today our first scenario is our patient is prescribed 600 milligrams to be administered IV over four hours the IV solution is 150 milligrams per 50 ml. How many milliliters of the IV solution is required for this dose? So we're trying to find out the amount to give. Okay, so let's see. First we have 600 milligram is our desired dose. So our patient was ordered 600 milligrams. All right. And the IV is available as 150 milligrams for every 50 mil so we know we divide that so it could be 150 milligrams for every 50 mil okay and we need to find out how much of the IV solution is required for this dosage so we need to know how much we are giving which is X so we know how to work this out, don't we? Because we did it last time. What we do is you divide your dose desired by your dose on hand and you multiply by quantity. All right? This is our quantity. All right? And it's going to bring us back to amount to give which is going to be x yes so we know we have to divide our dose desired so dd dose desired by dh dose on hand okay so we have dose desired 600 milligrams divided by 150 milligrams is going to be four milligrams scratch on milligram four multiply by 50 so that by 50 is going to be 200 mils so 200 mils is how much is going to give this patient 60 milligrams. So X equals the 200 mils. All right, we could do that again. Our desired dose was 600 milligram. Our available dose was 150 for every 50 mils. Dose desired divided by dose on hand multiplied by our quantity equals the amount to give. Okay. So 600 milligrams divided by 150 milligrams equals to 4. 4 multiplied by 50 gives us 200. So the dosage of 600 milligrams is equal to 200 mils. Hope that makes sense. Hope you understand that. Let's do our second. So in this scenario, our patient is to receive an IV infusion of 1 gram of medication over 8 hours. So we're going to calculate our flow rate this time, okay? So the IV bag contains 500 milligrams of medication in 100 ml of solution. What should be the flow rate in 100 mils, in mils per hour, sorry? Okay? First we have our desired dose is going to be 1 gram. 1 gram of medication to be given over 8 hours. Over 8 hours hours and our IV bag available right now is 500 milligrams for a hundred mils all right so we want to know what how fast we have to do this medication infusion for this patient to get this medication in over eight hours so it'll be flow rates we want to know what is our flow rate or the amount to give, which is going to be X. All right. So the first thing we do from the other examples that we did in our previous episodes, 
we know we have to change our all our units to be equal that's our first step so we have one gram to give over eight hours but our unit available is milligrams how much milligrams make a gram so we need to change the milligram to a gram so we know 1000 milligrams equals to one gram our order is for one gram so one gram you multiply that by a thousand it will give you 1000 milligrams now we are having some movements so 1000 milligrams is our desired dose our dose available is 500 milligrams and we multiply that by the quantity okay then we get down to fluorate all right good so 500, so milligram cancel out milligram, right? 500 into 1,000 is 2. 2 by 200, but, sorry, I'm jumping the gun. 2 by 100 is 200 mils. Now, we're going to calculate our flow rate. What was the time we had to do this? 8 hours. So we have 8 hours to give 200 mils. What do you think you're supposed to do now? You are supposed to take the amount you have and divide it by a time, which is giving you 25 mils for every hour. Because if you divide 200 mils by 8, you will get 25, and that is how much your infusion rate is supposed to be going. You are supposed to program your pump to give the patient 25 mils every hour for eight hours for them to get the one gram of the medication at, as ordered by your doctor or licensed provider. Hope this is not too fast. I hope that you are understanding. You can shoot me in the comments below and let me know if you want me to go over any of the examples or if you want me to do more practicing with you guys. I'm available for that. That's not a problem, okay? Let's do number three, our third example, this is So our third scenario, our licensed provider orders a continuous IV infusion of 50 milligrams per hour of a drug. The IV solution is prepared with 400 milligrams of the drug in 500 mils of saline. We want to know what is our infusion rate in this situation, okay? This example, we're going to be figuring out our infusion rate or basically we want to know how much we're going to be giving our patient to give the patient the ordered dose. So our ordered dose is 50 milligrams of the medication per hour. Then they have a mixture. The solution is prepared in 400 mili prepared with 400 milligrams in 500 mils of saline okay what am I supposed to try and figure out now we want to figure out what is our flow rate per hour to give 50 milligrams right so we need to figure out from this here this 400 milligrams in 500 mils of saline how much mils do I have to give to give this patient 50 milligrams every hour? All right. So now, what is the first thing we need to figure out? We need to find out how much mils, how much is milligrams is in one mil. So that's the big question first. How much milligrams equals to one mil? Because we have 400 milligrams equals to 500 mils. All right, so now to figure that out, you have to divide 400 milligrams by a 500 mils, which will give you 0 0.8 milligram per mil. So every one mil is going to be equal in to 0 0.8 of a milligram. Right? Now we need to find out how much the dose desired see we're going back again 
50 milligram, which is our dose desired, is going to be divided by the dose on hand that we have. And that will tell us how much we have to give. So this is per hour, and this is per mil, okay? This is one mil, this is every hour. So you divide how much our dose desired by our dose on hand, which is gonna give you 62.5 mils every hour. Let's talk about it again. We have an order to give 50 milligrams every hour to our patients. They bring a bag from pharmacy, the concentration is written, 400 milligrams in a 500 mil bag of saline. How are you able to calculate how much mils in an hour you have to give this patient? You cannot do that by just looking at this, okay? You have to find out how much milligrams is in one mil. Break down your equation. So we have 400 milligrams, we have 500 mils, we divide the amount that it's mixed in by the concentration of 400 milligrams. So we want to know what is one mil. One mil is 0 0.8 milligram. We get in somewhere. So one mil equals to 0 0.8 milligrams. Now we know we have our desired dose and we have our dose on hand. So now we divide our desired dose by our dose on hand and it's going to give us how much mils every hour we are supposed to give our patient. So 50 milligrams in every hour means I am infusing 62.5 mils because one mil is 0 0.8. So when I divide 50 milligrams by 0 0.8, it takes 62.5 mils to give me 50 milligrams in one hour. Okay? Hope you understand. Hope I explained it enough that you can understand what, how to break it down, how to calculate it, okay? We're going on to our fourth example of IV drug dose calculations. A patient needs an IV bolus of 250 milligrams. The medication is available in a concentration of 100 milligrams per mil. How many mils of this medication should we give this patient? All right, so we need to give the patient 250 milligrams desired. We have available 100 milligram per mil, okay? And we wanna know the amount to give, which is X amount to give in mils, all right? So what we know from all the practices we've been doing, you take a desired dose, you divide it by your hand, the dose you have on hand, equals 2.5 mils, why? 250 divided by 100 is equal to 2.5. The milligram is canceling itself out. X is how much mils we're giving. So we give this patient 2.5 mils, okay? Again, let's do it again. Our desired dose, the order was to give the patient 250 milligrams. What we have available is 100 milligrams per mil. We know we divide the desired dose by dose on hand and will tell us how much it is we have to give, okay? So 250 milligrams divided by 100 milligrams Milligram by milligram cancel themselves out. 100 into 2.5, 250 is 2.5. So we know we give this patient 2.5 mils to give the 250 milligram bolus. That was an easy one. <laughs> so we go and do our next example, final one on IV drug doses calculation, number five. An IV medication is to be infused at a rate of 125 mils per hour. IV bag contains 1,000 mils of a solution with two grams of the medication. How many milligrams of that medication will the patient receive in every hour? Ooh, this one's so nice. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. So we need to find out how many mils 
is this patient will be receiving when they get 125 mils per hour. How many of the medication they're getting? Okay, how much milligrams of that medication that is in that concentration? So we need to find out that today. So our patient has two grams in 1,000 mil. So we have two grams in 1,000 mils. Yeah? And we need to know, right now we're giving the patient 125 mils every hour. Right? So we need to figure out the concentration first to begin. We need to find out how much is one mil. Remember? We need to find out the mil. Because we need to know we're giving the patient 125 mils an hour. So we're trying to figure out how much we're giving this patient. How much milligrams. So first to begin, what do we do? We change our gram to milligram because our question is how much milligrams we're giving this patient every hour. So we know 2 grams equals 2,000 milligrams via our unit conversion, okay? And we know we have, so which means our dose on hand is equaling 2,000 milligrams in this bag, this 1,000 mil bag. And we want to know how much is X, which is mils, how much is 1 mil, okay? Because 2,000 milligrams equal 1,000 mils. So 1 mil equals 2,000 divided by 1,000. What we know that is going to be, people, it's going to be 2. So every mil, this patient is getting 2 milligrams. What are we giving this patient when we give them 125 mils an hour if 1 mil equals a 2 milligrams? How do we figure out that? You multiply the amount you are given by the dose, by this. So we have been given our patient 125. So we're giving them 125 mils in every hour. And we need to know how much that equals to. Because 2 milligrams is equal to 1 mil. So we have been given our patient 250 milligrams in every hour. That is what this is worth from this bag. The 125 mils is equal to 250 milligrams from this bag. Okay? So this every hour, this patient is receiving 250 milligrams of the medication that was prescribed. So guys, I hope you have as much fun as I've been having doing this dosage calculations. It's nice revision for us and for our nurses, students, our future nurses. I really do hope that you see this content as enjoyable and I am hoping I explain it enough that you understand. Practice, practice, practice. That's the way you can get these dosage calculations done properly and accurately. So keep on looking on, keep on subscribing, keep on commenting. Tell me what you think about the dosages. Tell me what you think about the maths. If you need some more practice, we can. Let me know. Look out for the next episode. Let's do this drug dose calculations. <laughs>